Good afternoon, welcome to this webinar where we will be looking at BIMx docs. We will start by looking at the Archicad workflow, creating views and the export to BIMx and then my colleague Lucy will demonstrate the BIMx docs iPad app, navigation between 3D views and 2D documentation and some other functionality available in the app. So what we have on the screen at the moment is the Archicad interface. On the right hand side of the screen we have the navigator. For anyone who is not familiar with Archicad at the moment, the navigator is what we use to work our way through a project. The workflow through a project can be seen using these buttons across the top of the navigator working from left to right. The first button, the project map, displays an Archicad project in various ways. Displaying the model is a series of floor plans sections, elevations, schedules and so on. Every time a new drawing window is created it will be automatically added to this list. The second button of the navigator is the view map and the view map allows you to create different drawing styles for various parts of the model. In this particular example we have a series of different floor plan views with different drawing styles assigned to them. Firstly we've got a series of predefined planning drawings. This particular style displays the floor plan at a 1 to 100 scale and simplifies the model so that there is no construction information in the composite walls. They are shown simply as a block outline. We have also got some basic information on the layout of the design scheme and some text displaying the room names. The next folder of views contains the furniture layout drawings. These show the same part of the model but now displayed at a 1 to 50 scale and we have additional elements being displayed. You can now see the structure within the composite walls and the furniture and we also have colour coordinated zones for each room type within the floor plan. The next button in the navigator is the layout book. Once we've created different view styles this is where we can start placing them onto drawing sheets. This is just a case of dragging and dropping the views onto the pages. So here we can see the different floor plan drawings, furniture layouts and the sections and elevations which are also generated from the building model. When exporting these 2D drawings to BIMx the process is to create the views with the required drawing style and place these onto the layout sheets. Before exporting drawings from Archicad, we ensure that all drawings are up to date using the drawing manager. This is important in that it allows us to ensure what we see in the model is reflected in the exported drawings. We tend to ensure that the drawings are set to manual update to assist with revision control, ensure they don't update until you need them to. Once the revisions have been documented and drawings updated, then the model is ready to export to BIMx. The model is exported using the publisher set, which is the final button in the navigator. This is where you select which drawing sheets are to be exported and in which format. In this example, we have a publisher set to export all of the layouts to PDF and a second publisher set, which will export the 3D model and all drawings to BIMx. This contains a view saved from the 3D window as well as the drawing sheets. To create a new publisher set for BIMx we can use an automated wizard. This needs to be done from the 3D window. Here I have already saved a view from the 3D window with the elements and position that I want to export. Anything that is visible in the 3D window will be exported so the correct layers need to be turned on. Anything that you want to export will need to be visible in the 3D window. To create a new publisher set, go to the file menu and select Publish BIMx Hypermodel and that will display the setup options. Any existing BIMx publisher sets are displayed and we can choose to create a new one from the drop down menu. The model can either be published to the Graphsoft Cloud or saved locally. In this case we are going to save locally to a folder synchronised to our iPad with Dropbox. There are a couple more options underneath to filter the exported data. 
We're going to export all of the data in the 3D window, but the model can be simplified just to structural elements if required, and also which layouts to export. We'll export all of the drawing sheets, but we could select a particular folder to export if we want to. As there's already a published set in this project, I'll rename the new one, and then browse for a Dropbox folder. Clicking the Publish button will export the BIMX file and add the publisher set to the list. This file will be synchronised with the iPad. Later on, if we publish a new version of the project, that will also update on the iPad. OK, there are a couple of further export options. One of these will render the model with global illumination, giving a higher quality render and image, as well as a black and white shaded view. There are also options to export individual camera positions to BIMX or export them as an animated path that will create a predefined animation that can be played back on the iPad without having to navigate it manually. OK, now I'll pass you over to Lucy who will demonstrate the exported file in the BIMX app. Thank you very much, Sean. Right, as you can see on the screen in front of you, what we are showing now is feeding live from our iPad. Firstly, what we'll do, as you can see up here in the right hand corner, as Sean mentioned, we have a predefined 3D view. So we'll just tap and that will follow straight through and open the view as it was saved. OK, what I'm going to do now is give you a quick run through of the basic navigation tools of BIMX. Um, I'm sure quite a few of you will already be fairly familiar with these tools and how BIMX works on the iPad, but it's always a good idea to run through in case some viewers aren't. In terms of moving and navigating around the model, it's very simple. And this is uh, quite akin to the movements and controls we are all used to with touchscreen devices anyway. For example, to zoom in, it's just the pinch and push technology, which most of us are used to with an iOS device. In order for us to orbit the model and turn it around, you just take one finger and you can spin it around like so. We can also pan across the model using just two fingers, and uh, you can just move left and right across the model. Right, so now we'll go to a location within the model. So we can have a look around. So what we do is we select an element and then press the target button here and that takes us straight to it and just using the pinch neck technology we'll zoom, zoom in and take ourselves within the model. One of the key features to BIMX is that we are able to move around inside the model. So we press the button on the bottom right of the screen and this joystick appears and we can very simply manoeuvre ourselves around through the model and have a walk around. Within BIMX we also have a variety of render styles which I will show you now. You just simply press the cog tool at the top right up here and the settings menu will open. And we can now see a list of different render styles and we can apply those to the BIMX model. Another popular feature of BIMX is the use of Stereo 3D. When we switch that on, you can see the red and cyan appears. Now, if you have 3D glasses, then this will appear in real 3D. And um, as you can imagine, um, when you are using that on an iPad and showing it to a client, it gives you a great view, um, which won't have really been seen before. You can also select an element and bring up that element's information including the type, 
ID number, structure and dimensions. And now we'll just have a, a look at the new features which are within Vimax Docs. Now we've come back to the project files which are all set up here. And what we can do is have a look through the drawings which have already been set up. For example, we can select this subfolder and we can go straight into the drawings which we previously saved within Archicad and simply slide one finger across to flick through the different drawings in that subfolder. And what you can also do within these drawings is select targeted views and elevations and click them and just jump straight to them. We can then uh, also select the 3D button on the bottom left and that will allow us to view that particular floor plan or drawing in 3D. Um, we also have the cutting plane which you can see here in orange and we can simply move that up and down. As you can see we have a, a lot of detail here with the drawing on top of the 3D model. We also have the layouts here which we exported and again we can just click on that subfolder and flick through. And of course you also have your elevations and you can see that up in the top right and your sections there as well. And we can also target straight through to details like so. And again, we can open that in 3D. And again, we have the cutting plane in place there. Here we can also open the drawing index to see what is available in this project file. And on the front menu we have a list of all of the previously predefined drawings and subfolders which we exported from Archicad which are now all viewable on the iPad. Okay, so thank you everyone for attending. For anyone who's already using Archicad, this functionality is already available by applying the latest update for Archicad 17. Um, you can already export standard BIMx files, but with the latest update you can export the BIMx doc side of things to get the 2D documentation as part of that file. Um, the app to play that back on an iPad is available on the App Store and that's priced at just under £35, or there is a lower cost app. Um, if you want to send it to a client who just wants to open a single project. For anyone, anyone else, you can download the three free BIMX app from the App Store and that comes with an example file um, for BIMX docs so you can have a go at navigating a file for yourself and going between the different views. If anybody has any questions then please feel free to um, just send a message uh, within this webinar. Um, or you'll, you'll receive a follow-up email shortly, so just send a response to that and we'll come back to you with, with, um, with the answers that you need for those. So again, thanks for attending and please let us know if you have any questions.